this video I like to share a system 100 patch and probably this will be the start of a series of videos uh, where I suggest a few basic setups for the system 100 which may get you started with this series and perhaps give you some inspiration on how to start a modular setup. The System 100 has a unique sound and from all the systems I experienced it is one of the easiest in terms of patching and also in terms of achieving pleasing results. I mean everyone who knows modular for some time will agree that perhaps 90% of the patches you create are, well, sounding interesting but most often they are not very pleasing at least to the unexperienced ear. The System 100 is different here as it really gives you pleasing results very quickly. And of course, if I say System 100, I talk about the Beringer recreation, and not the original one from Roland, and I guess that those who have access to the original one don't need this video. So the first setup here is a straightforward one, in particular in the System 100, as it yields a duophonics synthesizer, so two independent analog synth voices. We need the 112 oscillators, the 121 filters, the 130 amplifiers and the 140 envelopes and LFO. This is sort of the basic recipe for a synth, mainly in an east coast manner, but as it is fully modular, FM and stuff like this is also an option. These modules are actually all dual modules, which is a signature feature of the System 100, and they are very compact and uh, usable in this way. I will additionally use the fabulous SQ1 from Korg as a sequencer, but any other CV keyboard or sequencer could take its place in this setup. Let's first connect one of the VCOs to the filter and the amplifier, and the amplifier then goes to the recorder or whatever you would use as a target for your audio. So let's turn up the VCA gain and the filter cutoff, and that's the simple but beautiful sound of a System 100 synth voice. The filters are just great in the System 100 and their resonance is really beautiful. Let's add the second VCO to the mix using the filter input mixer. And we immediately have a great and warm analog sound. And with the SQ1 we can create a melody now by connecting its CV output to one of the VCO's CV input. you have to turn the CV input attenuator fully clockwise on the VCO module. The second row of the SQ1 now could be used for example to modulate the filter cutoff CV. use the oscillator sync for some interesting and more metallic effects and I use the weak sync here as it leads to some nice and uh, not the straightforward hard sync harmonics. Again check out the video about the 112 oscillator module where I discussed the weak and uh, 
Hot Sync features in more detail. Let's bring the envelope in by feeding the gate from the SQ1 to the gate input of the first envelope here and then we connect the envelope to the filter cutoff CV input. gives us a classic filter modulation, pronouncing each sequencer step. And we can now use the second envelope for the VCA. Let's also use the LFO to modulate the VCA by feeding it into the second CV input of the VCA. Again, this is very handy and we have three inputs here to modulate the VCA. This setup is now already very powerful and gives you most of the stuff a duophonic synth needs. It sounds even more beautiful, of course, and I use the Strymon L cap here, which is a tape delay and spring reverb emulation. I will just leave this uncommented now for a while, just follow me through some different sounds achieved by just a little repatching and tuning.
This now, by the way, is the audio achieved only by the self-resonating filters. It sounds mellow and soft as the filters create pure sine waves with no harmonics. We can CV them like the VCOs and they also track 1 volt per octave. VCOs again to the filters makes the sound a bit more characterful. And that's it for the first patch with the System 100 and sort of the first suggestion for a System 100 setup. I hope it gave you some inspiration and I recorded another session which follows now. It uses the 182 sequencer from this series as melody creation tool and replaces the SQ1 which we had in the previous patch. The sound is quite different again and it really underlines the versatility of this setup. So at this point, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more ideas on how to put a System 100 setup together.